and welcome to a very special episode of the crazy world of CEX. As today, we are hitting up three brand new CEX stores in and around the city of Leeds. Welcome to my continuing mission to visit every CEX store in the entire world. From the weird to the wonderful, the big to the small, I am here to visit them all. This is the crazy world of CEX. Thanks and welcome back to the crazy world of CEX. My continuing adventures to try and visit every single CEX store in the entire world. And one of the best ways to do this is to visit some of the largest cities around the UK. That's because more often than not they have multiple CEX stores. And that is true this time as we're hitting up not one, not two, but three stores in the city of Leeds. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe. As I put new videos out every Saturday night at 5, as well as bonus content throughout the week. And I really want you folks along for the ride. And remember, if you ever miss an episode of the crazy world of CX, fear not, I'll link them all down below in the playlist. Now, off to Leeds. The first store we are visiting this time on the crazy world of CX is quite fittingly simply Leeds CX. So this is the largest of the three stores we will be visiting this time. And it is bang in the centre of Leeds. Checking out the windows of this CEX store, there's nothing really to see here. It's very unassuming and honestly, you will be blown away by what is inside in the glass cabinets of dreams, especially judging by these windows. There's really nothing exciting here, but it definitely does not give you any indication of what's inside. Here we have it then folks, some of the best glass cabinets of dreams I've ever seen in any CEX store. So we're starting off low. We've got some OG Xbox and some Xbox 360 bangers here. Next up we're kind of going down to some big box Wii stuff, the kind of light guns, the accessories, the stuff you don't see very often. And I'm going to continue to build the retro here. So we've got a very, very good GameCube section. Now this glass cabinet alone in any other CEX store would have been absolutely fantastic, but this is just the beginning. Next up, we have some PlayStation 3 heavy hitters, including Lollipop Chainsaw, which is one of my favorite games of that generation. That game is steadily getting more and more expensive and harder to find. Then we have a pile of PlayStation 2 bangers, some really good games there. Some peripherals, again, some really nice bits. An absolutely incredible selection of PlayStation 1 games, including some of the best Mega Man titles available for that console. And it just keeps getting better. Check out the size of this PlayStation Vita section. But this is a game I definitely want to pick up. Worms for the Evercade. I'm slowly expanding my Evercade collection. This is definitely one I'm going to grab, especially for 15 quid, as I absolutely love the Worms franchise. Was very tempted by that box Game Gear game as well. But check this out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time for the Snares. If this had been complete, with a condition, it'd have been tempting. Even though it's 250 pounds, it is one of my holy grail games and a game that hopefully one day I will have in my collection. But these glass cabinets of dreams just keep giving. Check out this Master System and Mega Drive selection. We got some Saturn games, some loose Sega games, even some boxed N64 games, loads of loose N64 games. Honestly, I cannot remember the last time I saw a glass cabinet of dreams this stacked with quality, hard to find retro. Like, just check out this boxed N64 section. I was absolutely blown away by Leeds CEX. And if this is a sign of things to come in this episode, we are in for some absolute treats here for the crazy world of CX in Leeds. But remember, folks, retro collecting doesn't always have to be expensive. Sometimes you can find games such as this, Bloodstone 007 for the Xbox 360. Now, I have since picked this up in a separate CEX store because, honestly, I would never pick up one of these games with a reprinted cover. But for three quid, if you can get the original cover, that's definitely a good game to pick up for the 360. As I said, CEX Leeds is absolutely massive. It's the largest store in Leeds and it has an absolutely massive basement, which is stacked with even more retro and, of course, DVDs. And something you don't see very often in any CEX store, these weird kind of bargain 
baskets, which I guess are just full of football games, kind of platinum games, ironically, that not a lot of people want. Because honestly, this is probably a better way of just having these for sale rather than them cluttering the shelves. Because at the end of the day, 99% of people are not looking for them. It's a similar story for the OG Xbox. So many people seem to pass up this console. It's an absolute joy to collect for. And even though I have a fairly large collection, I keep finding absolute bangers to add to my collection, such as this game here, Shattered Union. For just a couple of quid, it's an absolutely fantastic RTS to add to my Xbox collection. And here's the thing, it's pretty cheap to collect for the OG Xbox at the moment. And in the future, like most consoles, I can only imagine it going up in price. So if you're looking to game collect on a budget, I would definitely recommend the OG Xbox as it has an absolutely incredible selection of games for bargain prices. Now, here is a perfect example of games going up in value. I remember when you could pick up Alan Wake Remastered off Amazon for £10 brand new. And as soon as they announced Alan Wake 2, everyone wanted to go back and play this game. And it's now three times more expensive, but it's still a way to play it a little bit cheaper if you want to play it on the Xbox. And I would definitely recommend playing this as this is an absolute banger. If not, pick up cheap for the 360. But of course, you can still get some absolute bargains for the Xbox, such as this game, Iron Harvest. Now, if you're an RTS fan, this is a must have, especially for just £4, as honestly, I think there's like a handful of strategy games on this gen of console and this one is definitely worth picking up, especially for the price. So don't pass on this one. Final thing from Leeds CEX, check out these boxed consoles. Now, of course, it's not very rare to see boxed consoles in CEX, but these were in really, really nice condition. And even when it came to the loose consoles, there were some really, really nice special editions. Our next store is Leeds Crossgates. And while this is a much smaller store, remember on the crazy world of CEX, we never judge a CEX store by its size. We judge it by its contents. And judging by the window, it's not looking too great so far. There's some N64 bits, some Mars System bits, a very nice copy of Evil Dead for the PlayStation 1, and also Par Rapper for the PlayStation 1. So it isn't too bad, but let's hope there's something else hiding inside. As you can see then, a much smaller store. But of course we are on the hunt trying to sniff out those bargains here in this CEX store in Leeds. And straight away in the Xbox One section, once again, I found an absolute bargain. Another fantastic strategy game, Tropico. I absolutely love this series. And honestly, these are getting really, really cheap. I'm not sure if this one's on Games Pass, that's why it's so cheap. But for £3 for the complete edition of Tropico 6, this is a bargain. Another cheap Xbox game here, but a bit of a wild card as I haven't played this game, Techromancer. But honestly, for three quid, if you're a game collector, it's probably worth the risk. But let me know in the comments down below if you've played this one. Final cheap find in the Xbox section. This is actually a game which you can also play in the Xbox Series X, Watch Dogs Legion. Now, I really enjoy the Watch Dogs game and... I'm pretty tempted by this one for a fiver, but honestly, I reckon this one's just going to get cheaper and cheaper, so I'll pass for now. We're continuing the cheap banger theme in a section you wouldn't expect, the GameCube section, but yes, you can get some cheap GameCube games. And yes, a lot of these games were released over multiple consoles, but if you are a GameCube collector, you can still pick up some really cheap games, such as these two absolute bangers, Conflict Desert Storm and Conflict Desert Storm 2, which you can pick up for under £10 for both games. Was quite tempted by this game, Cell Damage, just giving me kind of real wacky races vibe. I did pass this time though, but looking into the Wii U section, unfortunately nothing I really needed there. But without a shadow of a doubt, at the moment, the best place to look for cheap bangers is the Xbox 360 section. There were so many hidden gems and games that went under the radar this generation. And now is the best time to pick these games up cheap, like Legendary. Not the best reviewed game of all time, but for that price, I'm definitely going to grab it. And another thing to look for in these Xbox 360 sections is complete versions of games. So here we have Borderlands and the Borderlands add-ons on separate discs. Now, the completionist in me really wants to pick up all of these discs, but honestly, why not just pick up Borderlands Game of the Year Edition? I have been collecting for the OG Xbox for years for two simple reasons. Firstly, it has an absolutely amazing catalog of games. And secondly, in general, it is dirt cheap at the moment. And even though I've been collecting for this console for years, it amazes me that I still, to this day, find games which I've never seen before, such as this game, Nightcaster. Never heard of it, but it is an exclusive game to the OG Xbox. And honestly, for three quid, I'm going to grab it and add it to the collection because who knows, could be a hidden gem. 
But before we move on, of course, we need to look into the glass cabinet of dreams. First off, nothing really to see here. Some Switch consoles, a lot of Joy-Cons. But this was quite interesting. This Monster Hunter game for the Wii, which came packaged with a remote. And there was not one, but two variants of this game, which is really cool. Because some of the big box Wii stuff is definitely becoming very desirable. A lot of loose N64 games here. Some loose Game Boy games, which came with the manuals, which was quite interesting. Couple of box N64 games. I don't think I ever see Donkey Kong 64 actually come with the expansion pack remember when that game was first released the expansion pack came in the box but i very rarely see it with the expansion pack last thing to see here very cool an atari lynx carry case very cool indeed our final cex store in leeds this time is white rose shopping center and trust me, White Rose Shopping Centre is absolutely ginormous. Having a quick peruse of the window here. And what's this hiding in the bottom here being very unassuming? That's right, a copy of Snatcher for the Mega CD with an absolutely eye-watering retail price. An absolute holy grail for sure. Let's hope there's more inside. Heading in and straight to the glass cabinet of dreams, we have a fairly decent selection of retro. We've got some Mega Drive games, some Game Gear games, some box Nintendo goodness, some really nice bits in here. Even some Atari Lynx games. Sadly, they were loose, so I did pass them. But yeah, a really good selection here in this glass cabinet of dreams, including some snares, N64, NES, just a bit of everything you want to see when you're looking in these glass cabinets of dreams sadly nothing i needed personally for the collection but these atari jaguar games were very tempting but then in the corner of my eyes spotted this another evercade game to cross off not to feel left out there was also a really good selection of playstation 1 games in here it seems that lead cx has a really good selection of playstation 1 bangers including the second copy of power rapper the rapper i saw today that game is still on my list i did pass this time but it's definitely one which i need for my ps1 collection sticking with playstation but this time the playstation 3 section ratchet and clank all for one i'm a massive fan of the ratchet and clank franchise all of these games are super fun and i think now is a good time to pick these games up as they're exclusive to the playstation 3 and as we always know exclusive games always go up in value and these are pretty cheap at the moment another banger here soldier of fortune if you enjoy your first person shooters especially on the gorier side definitely one to pick up final little grab here in the playstation 3 section singularity a very underrated game which is definitely once again worth picking up it's just a great time to collect for the playstation 3 at the moment while these prices are cheap but it won't last forever lurking here in the playstation 2 section is a game you do not see very often teenage mutant ninja turtles now this is part of a trilogy which i'm trying to complete on the og xbox i've got the first two games but the third game in this trilogy is super expensive i would love to see a remaster of these games in the future they are absolute bangers but getting pricey speaking of hidden gems from this generation here we have scarface the world is yours this time for the og xbox now this game is slowly creeping up in price i just recently picked this up for the playstation 2 so i did pass it this time for the xbox but this is definitely one which is getting more and more expensive and honestly if you're a fan of the gta games you will absolutely love this one sticking with the og xbox check this out behind the counter in leeds in the white rose shopping center this absolutely incredible condition boxed og xbox sadly i had to pass this time but as a tradition on the crazy world of cx we have one more stop the fine city of norwich and let's head to my local glass cabinet of dreams as you can see this is a smaller cabinet but it's absolutely rammed we have playstation one dreamcast mega drive going into master system this is my local cex and they always keep their glass cabinet of dreams absolutely stacked and it's all just laid out so nicely but this time i'm not looking for anything from here i'm looking for some cheap retro now i'm sure a lot of people probably don't quite consider the playstation 3 retro quite yet but this is where we're hunting this time and i'm looking for two games in particular that's because the franchise in question has a brand new game coming out very very soon which will actually be out by the time this video is released now what i normally find is when a new game comes out for a franchise the previous entries normally jump up in price now at the moment these games are super cheap and i'm going to grab them now while they are cheap and it does seem like somebody knew i was looking for these two games in particular here we have dragon's dogma and dragon's dogma dark arise 
One last grab from the Xbox 360 section. That's because I've never seen this game before. And it is getting harder and harder to collect for the Xbox 360. And I'm going to grab these rarer games while I can. With this in hand, let's take it back to the games room for the pickups from these four amazing CEX stores. Here we are then back in the games room from our road trip to Leeds and we have three more CEX stores to cross off the list of the frankly hundreds which I still need to visit all around the world. Now the first store we visited was just called CEX Leeds. It was in the centre of Leeds. It was the largest of the three stores and it had an absolutely incredible selection of retro and a really good modern game selection as well. Now one console I'm really trying to collect for in 2024 is the Evercade. Now I've had an Evercade console since 2020 and I recently upgraded to the Evercade Atomic Home Console and this really spurred my collection. So I really want to grab this game, the Worms Collection 1. I'm a massive, massive fan of the Worms games and this is a really good box set for the Evercade. These games are absolutely fantastic and even better in multiplayer. But here's the thing, at the moment you can get some of these Evercade games for an absolute bargain price at CX, but make sure you check to see if they have a manual as these are some of the very few games these days that come complete with a manual. As you saw in the video, Leeds CEX had an absolutely amazing selection of retro games. and There were some real heavy hitters in here. But retro game collecting doesn't have to be expensive. Certain consoles are still super cheap to collect for. Consoles such as the OG Xbox. And these are two games I don't think I've seen either very often. I still didn't have for my ever-growing OG Xbox collection. First off, we have Army Men Sarge's War, which, of course, is complete with a manual. You always have to check. With the way CX are going at the moment, I'm trying to make sure I always pick up these games with a manual, even though at the moment, as of recording this, they're not listing most Xbox games as having the manual or not. And the second game I picked up is Shattered Union, because honestly, even on consoles, there's not many real-time strategy games. To be able to pick one for the OG Xbox for three quid is an absolute bargain. Our next stop was Leeds Crossgates, and while this was a much smaller store, it still had a really, really good selection of games, especially Xbox 360 games. And much like the Xbox original at the moment, the Xbox 360 is super cheap to collect for. And there are just so many bangers. Bangers such as this, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition for just £2. And what makes it a Game of the Year Edition is it has all of the expansions on the disc in the world of digital gaming the dlcs for certain games are getting harder and harder to find to be able to pick up this absolutely fantastic loot issue with all the dlc for just two pounds is an absolute bargain here's the thing with the xbox 360 it had some absolutely huge hits but it also had some misses games such as this legendary now Judging this game by its cover, it's essentially like mythical creatures turn up in today's society and you mow them down with modern military weapons. How can that be a bad thing? I think when this game first came out, it's really overshadowed by tens of better games. But the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 at this time just had so many games like this, which could be sleeper hits. I haven't played this game yet, but honestly, based on the premise of this game and for three quid... I'll take a risk. I said earlier in this video, the OG Xbox is super cheap to collect for. And whilst I have a very large OG Xbox collection, I have never seen this game before. Nightcaster. Now this is only on Xbox. At the end of the day, once again, for three pounds, this is the kind of game I'm just gonna pick up because I know very little about this game, but if it's an exclusive game, these are normally the games that get more expensive over time. And honestly, because it's so cheap to collect for the Xbox at the moment, I'm going to take full advantage of these cheap games. Our final stop in Leeds was Leeds White Rose. And this was a CEX store in an absolutely ginormous shopping mall. Seriously, this place was absolutely epic. If you do go there to visit the CEX store, it is on the right-hand side of the shopping center. Don't go on the left hand like we do because you literally had to walk about half a mile to get to CEX. So park on the right hand side of the White Rose shopping center. Just the one pickup from here, there is another 
Evercade game, this time the Data East Collection 1. Now this has some absolutely incredible games on this and I'm trying to get some of the older Evercade games first. That's because after a while Evercade loses the license to these games and then these carts become legacy. And if nothing else, CX has some super cheap carts in there at the moment. This game, this one here has some awesome games such as Rad Dudes, Two Crew Dudes and many, many others. If nothing else, I love picking up these Evercade games because it's just discovering games you've never played before and hopefully find some hidden gems. Finally this time, as is tradition here on the crazy world of CX, I hit up my local CX store here in the fine city of Norwich. And here's the thing, whenever a new game is released in a franchise, the previous entries in that franchise normally shoot up in price. Now, as of the release of this video, the brand new Dragon's Dogma game will be out for general sale and it looks absolutely incredible and I wanted to grab these two games while they were cheap Dragon's Dogma and Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Now I managed to pick up both of these games for under a fiver and these are like some absolutely fantastic RPGs. I'm coming off the end of finishing Baldur's Gate 3 and I'm looking for anything to kind of fill that RPG hole and I really hope these two can fill my hole. Our final pickup this time is for the Xbox 360 and here's the thing, I have been collecting for the Xbox 360 since the console released and I think I have a pretty good knowledge of the console's catalogue but I've never heard of this game before, Generator Rex Agent of Providence. I think it's based on a Cartoon Network cartoon but I've never seen this game before and at the end of the day, it is getting harder and harder to collect the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 sections are getting smaller and smaller, and this is a rare game. There's only about four to five copies of this in stock in CX at the moment. So for three pounds, I'm gonna grab it while I can. There we have it then, folks. That was another episode of the crazy world of CEX, and three brand new CEX stores crossed off the list of the frankly hundreds, which I still need to visit all around the world. And here's the thing. Every single store I go to, I'm always building my collection and you never know what you're going to find in any CX and what crazy thing I'm going to add to my collection. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe and who knows, maybe next time I'll be hitting up your local CEX here on a crazy world of CX. See you soon!